hi and welcome to microsoft access of hospital management system so let me show you guys how this works so we can always add more record here onto this list box here and we also have another list box here that display all of the records for the authority to see or for the hospital management to see and in here are the records of the bookings and right here this is where we enter the different appointment and so on okay we have these two buttons here this is to enable the toolbar and this and the other one the same thing you can see the toolbar there if I press control control F1 you see all of the tools so we can see no tools and yes the tools okay so the other one here is to add records and this is to print okay to add record all you just need to do is click on this and there we go okay let's assume that's the record you want to add you can always add them onto the list box here and the other thing you can do is you can click on print and there we go the system is now ready to print okay the next thing we can do is to just click on exit the choice is here to say yes or no so let's click on yes and there we go so what I'm going to do now is to exit this very one and start a new access application okay now that we start a new one let's click on blank right there and we're going to give our product a name right there guys let's call it hospital management system There we go guys now the tools are missing so i'm going to press ctrl f1 to get the tools back there now instead of creating database i'm going to use my raw data that i have in here those are the raw data that i intend to use i'm also going to enter give you guys the link to this very data on my share drive so don't worry about you finding your own data you can always download this the link to that very data okay now that we are in here i'm going to click on create and no let's select external external data right there because we're importing a new uh, the raw data now here where we have new data source click on that and let's go to file from file and let's select text file now once you get this dialog box browse to wherever you have your data I have my own desktop I think it's called the folder is called doctor right there we go so I'm going to select doctor right there click on ok now that this dialog box pops up, make sure you it remains as delimited and click on next. Now, select this very checkbox here. First row contains field name. You can see the field name there. Click on next. Now, in here, the choice is yours if you want to change the data type, but I'm going to leave my data type the way it is all right so let's come in here and if you want you can always say no duplicate or duplicates that's fine by me or that's fine by you whatever you want to do click on next now in here the system automatically generates a primary key well i don't want that i want to choose my own primary key so select the radio button here and click on next now that's the name of your table if you like you can always change it but I'm alright with that so I'm going to click on finish and close that so right there is my very first table ok 
okay if i right click on it you can see the design view of that very table and the primary key is selected for me there all right so you can even double click and just view the tables so let's close that and this very table i'm going to delete that i don't need it so let's repeat the same thing for the next data there and just import maybe we should import patients right there import the patients i repeat exactly the same process okay first column there we go and then click on choose my own primary key there and give it a name patients that's fine and click on finish and close that that is it right there let's click and see the design view that's the design view and the primary key is selected as well now let's click on the data itself there so i will just speed up the the third one and get back to you guys all right the last one is taken care of let me show you there we go and there we have compound or compost key there so let's just click and you view the data we have on board there we go guys so i'm going to close that the next thing i like to do is i'm going to create a query for all of this so let's select query widget no let's select query design yeah and i'm going to select the three tables so i'm just click on add there so in here you can always link let's link uh, doctor to this and i'm going to link this you can always do it better than this too there so the next thing I want to do now is to select the the fields that are required. I need that of doctor. Just double click on it. We need the doctor's title, last name, and first name of the doctor, and we also need the doctor's telephone number. Yeah. Now, if we come to the appointment, we need the appointment time. We need the appointment ID and we need time as well. This very one date and time. Then for the as for the patient, we need the patient ID. We need the patient title, patient first name, last name, one of the address field, postcode, age and that should be male or female but that's fine I think it's in uh, another format so if I run it this is how the whole table this is how the query look like you can see male that is just one or zero zero is for male for female one is for male so that's fine that's my query taken care of so let's save that very query I'll just call it hospital anyway right query is done so let's close that now the next thing we want to do is to create a form so click on hospital and let's select form there we go that's the form created all right so what i will now do is to enhance the appearance of this form to make it more user friendly okay first thing i'll do is you see all of these small text box I'm going to make them exactly the same size with all of these other text box and if you come to the format there look at the height of that text box you can copy that and I'm going to select one two three four five six and let's come to the height there and just change it there so that is taken care of so I'm going to select the rest of the text box I do not want to include these ones in the in the middle. Okay, let's just select these ones, and we come right in here where we have. Let's start with. I don't want to change the effect, so I'm going to start with the 
font size let's change the font size to 16 and font color I'm gonna make that darker make it black now let's see the font width I'm gonna make that bold now I need border I'm gonna change the border to 4 and that is solid so that that is fine I need to change the border color as well let's select it all select that border color let's see the border color they will change that to black right done and this one's here I'm gonna repeat the same thing but with a bit of different so the font is going to be 16 as well now we come to the effect special effect I'm going to raise it up then the color font color make that black and make it bold as well there we go now you see that you might not be able to see it properly but if I click on this very form let's change the back color of that form so that you guys can see what I'm talking about right you see that now okay I will now repeat exactly the same thing to these very ones here okay for to that let's come in here and the effect is going to be exactly the same raise it up and the size make that 16 and the color font color we want it to be black and I also want it to be bold black and bold let's come into the width here they will font width make that bold yeah and there so we repeat exactly the same thing for these other ones here and there we go 16 Uh, the border width and the border color make it black and then font we make that bold and the font color will be black there that is the enhancement for just this one is taken care of now back in here so the next thing I want to do now is to add we want to add let's go to design force I want to add a list box so let's drag this down much I want a list box here so we'll drop this down select the list box and just draw it that is my list box I'm going to cancel that so that's just how I want it and the name of the list there list 80 98 I'm just gonna delete that because I don't need that I only need the list box right there and let's move this down let's move it down a little bit okay for this very list box that I've just added let's enhance their appearance as well so go to the properties click and let's select border width I'm gonna make that 4 as well and content let's make that 12 then column header I'm gonna say yes to that and column counts make that 16 then the other thing is the color Font color, I'm gonna make that black and border width, make that bold. Yeah, I think that will do for that. Let's see, no border color, border color, we need to make that black, right? That's it, done. 
so if I come in here right click on click on view form that is how it looks right now okay all right no I don't need 16 here I need about six okay the other one will be 16 all right let's change that no now right click and come to design here I need the columns I want it just to be six not 16 so that's taken care of and one other thing before I forget you see inside the data here you now need to change rule source type we need to change that to value list okay make sure that is changed to value list else we won't be, it won't be able to read the data okay we need one more just one more of those but before that I need I'm gonna need a rectangle and just paste one here I will enhance that as well do exactly the same thing and that will be bold four and what is one color to be black and the back color background color I'm going to use this background color that we have in here so I've selected the header there just copy that very background color and let's come in here select this and change the back color of that change it to that very one that I've just copied you see that it's changed now I need one more list box so move this down a little bit more and come right there the design select this very list box and just draw so in the case of this very list box I am going to accept just click on next and the data that I want is on the query so select query hospital query click on next and select every single data click on next you can select whatever you want here if you like you can just click on next and that's it that's fine click on next next and just click on finish all right but one or two things need to be taken care of make sure it's still selected come to column header change that to yes here you can see column count is officially 16 and the system has given you a default width for every single column now if you come straight to the data here make sure the row source is table is from the table and that's all there is to that so the only thing that I need is just to take care of the the border itself border width I'm gonna make that solid as well make that full and the color let's look for border color here let's make sure it's black right so if I run it let's right click on the aspect today and view and there we go can see all the records in there but this one this label there I'm going to delete that label and there so right click design view scroll right down this very label get rid of it done okay now we get in somewhere so maybe for now just reduce that and drag this down a little bit more okay the next thing we want to do now is to add some buttons here so let's come right in here that's a button there click and draw that's button number one I'm gonna say cancel and I'll just pick that up okay right here I have all my buttons in place but for now they do nothing but I need one more button this very button that I need I would like that very button to I would like to use macro on that very button so click and let's draw that very button here we'll position that in there so we need it to add add new record 
so click on next let's select add record next I'm going to give that a name I'll call it CMD add record and click on finish so the next thing we just want to do now is to enhance the appearance of that very button so let's see the width of this one is 5.012 and the height is 0.899 so click on this the width copy paste that in there and the height is 0.899 there we go now we need to change we need to ch actually change the color I think this is the color no that's not the color I think that's the color let's see okay it's, that's the color I'm gonna copy that color paste it in here and just delete every content in here and paste my new copied color now bother with big that for as well and change the color of the border width to black right we need to change the font what is the font of this 18 so let's change this to 18 and we then need to change the, the width of the font now we need to change font color font color make that black right there so i'm going to run it so that you guys see how the whole thing looks like now select from view there we go guys so press ctrl f ctrl f1 so that you guys can see it all so that's how it's looking right now so let's go to design view see on this form make sure your form is selected you can go straight to the event on the property here and here where we have on click let's click and select code builder or you can always right click on the form and select build event and select code builder click on ok once you are in this coding area let's come straight to so let's select the object that we want we want form and we want it to be form load right inside the form load i'm going to enter the following command do command dot maximize so anytime the form load i want it to get maximized the next thing i would like to do is because i have a list box here this very list box and I have six columns. I would like this very six list box to have as follows as the heading. So I'm going to say me dot. The name of the list box is list box 98. I believe. Let's verify that. Let's see. That's it right there. 98. Okay. So let's go go back to the form event right there so list box 98 dot add item and the item that I'm adding right now is going to be doctor doctor ID that is one that's heading one and enter and I need to now enter column you see the column is on my speech mark and the next one I'm going to add you can just copy if you want the choices here so that you can get it right the next one will be patient ID right patient ID after that I'm going to add appointment ID right and followed by let's enter date and then we have 
time and paste again then finally I'm going to enter age right here get rid of all of this now age and get rid of this so if we move this let's move this away so that you can see it all that is it those are the lines of code for the form load now we also copy this let's copy it and I'll paste that inside my add record the add record was created using macro right there so but first thing first let's right click view from and there we go those are my headings right there and the add record if I click on this that's what happened but we're not adding anything yet so let's come in here and go back to the design view so right click or select the add record let's go to design right there because the add record was created using macro we need to convert the macro to VB to visual basic click on convert to VB and click on the button convert okay that's done now why selected you can come straight to the event code builder there there we go if you notice that is the add record codes right there this code this line of codes were generated using macro but what I want to do is see this very one I would like them added onto the add record here right underneath public public sub add record there we go now that is fine the next thing I like to do is come right up here right underneath option explicit if you don't have option explicit you can always type in option exp explicit right there we now declare the following so let's say dim str so that's going to be my data one I'm gonna copy that str1 comma str2 three four five six and I'm going to declare all of those variables as string there that is that done. I might as well add right underneath here the following function let's say function add data So maybe I should say underline underscore add data and what data am I adding? I'm gonna say CL control list control list box. So that's my variable for that as list box So in there, let's say by value, I would like the following data one, okay, as string. There, that's my very first data. So I'm gonna copy that. Let's make this one bold. Now let's just copy and paste. Copy, comma. That is data two. Comma. Data three. I'm gonna need six of those as well. Right. Let's make all of these uppercase. Yeah. And we need we need three more. Okay. space underscore then let me just copy all of this and just paste it right underneath there that's it that will be those will be four five and six and just close that and this one will become six five six 
5 and 4 so we have data 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 4 there press enter there we go that's my function here so in, inside the function I would like to enter this very method that I've created okay dot add item okay and the item I like it to add will be as follows equals what do I want to add each of these data that I have in here so that's going to be this is going to be data one and data one will be and speech back and data two right I believe you get the whole idea I'm just gonna copy and repeat exactly the same thing this is three four five and six there so I have all my okay in fact my function is ready now let's make sure it's correct okay now what I then want to do is to go straight inside my record I need all of these look at them I need to be able to add each of the headings that I want on them so I'm going to just copy those now let's come right here this is the record okay make sure the record is selected that is the name CMD records and let's select click event as well there we go right in there I'm gonna paste all of that all right I need them to don't worry about that error so I just need them for a purpose so that is going to become str1 equals me dot doctor doctor id dot value dot value then the next one is equals me dot that will be patient id where is it there we go dot value then this one it's going to be equals me dot and that will be appointment right appointment dot value right enter the next one here is equals me dot date dot value and this is going to be time me dot time dot value so I'm actually calling all of these information from within the table okay the last one is this very one here number six that is going to be for age equals me let's get that correct number six equals me dot age dot value yeah that is that done not be any space yeah that's fine okay now to get this displayed on my system I'm just gonna copy all of these all copied now come right down here and say me dot list 98 equals add 
underscore data now I am calling this function here add underscore data open a bracket and what are we calling we are calling value into list 98 and those are the value that I am calling and let's say redeem every time dot code So that is the oh those are the lines of code for the record itself. Okay, what will happen is when I anytime I click on those on click uh, anytime I click on the button, it actually add whatever we have in here onto this list box. So let's have a go at it and see. So you see, oh let's see what is the oh application that's not supposed to be application that was supposed to be appointment appointment so let's get it right yeah okay save come back in here back to design now right click on the form let's see what is the problem now yeah it's supposed to be appointment ID come on stop that okay now let's go back onto the form and run it again there we go let's try this out you see that guys so it's working how I expected it to work so that's fine so let's see if we say add new record oh this is add add record here and why do we have this here okay okay this is supposed to be print all right now let's come back in here design we should just change this to print record all right that's fine okay then the next thing I want to do is to take care of one, two, those are a little bit easy. So we'll come right in here. We'll build that, come right there. And we will start by saying do, and that is supposed to be the yes. That's just to get rid of the of the toolbar. Do dot show toolbar. And the toolbar I want it to show is going to be the ribbon. Close that comma and I'm going to go for no ribbon. No, that should be yes because this yes there. That's yes. Made the ribbon visible. The next one is going to be no ribbon. To copy that. Now back in here, right click on no, go to the events, build, there we go. And that is no ribbon. Right. Alright, let's take care of the print button. So, right here, make sure it is selected. And let's go to the event. And right there. So, the first thing I like to do is to declare two variables team. So, let's say str item as variant. So, that is fine. Now, let's declare another one team. Let's call that. STR record record string as string. Yeah. Right. So two of my variables are in place. So the next thing I would like to do is to use a for loop for each. So let's say str item. Let's try that again. str item in main dot control. It controls 
and the name of this control we're talking about is list 98 close that dot so that will be item selected right so let's say str 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 record string is very one here paste it there equals str record string and me dot controls and the control itself is list 98 close that dot item item data and the item data in this case is going to be str item and close that and let's ask it to go to the next line editor right so one more thing let's say next str item that's the for loop taken care of else now let's say do command dot print print out on what I will print it out Let's go for print all. There. There we go. So right here, from here to here, these lines of code should print out something for us. Okay, that's taken care of. We can have a look. Let's have a look at that and just make sure that works. Let's right click form. And let's click on print record here yeah, that is fine right okay now that that is done all that we need to now take care of is the exit okay so this is working all of these are fine so let's take care of our exits button so I'm gonna come in here put that down and let's go straight into the exit select the exit right here click and select that so right in here first thing we'd like to do is to declare as follows I'm gonna say dim I exit as VB message VB message box result there we go now let's use the error handler Error handler is going to be let's come in here and see maybe you can even copy one or two things here. I'm gonna copy all of this back in here right underneath here and the name is going to be that CMD exit. CMD exit underscore click underscore error and let's say if I exit equals message message box message box but let's say it says confirm confirm if you want to exit confirm if you want to exit close that comma VB question plus VB yes no so let's say 
Magruder. Now enter the name. The name is Hospital Management. System. Right. Close that. Hospital Management System. There we go. And if there should be a speech man there. Right, that's fine. So let's say right here we say if I exit equals VBS then do command dot close right and if okay so that's that and because of enter error handler I'm just gonna copy this and just paste it right underneath here copy that paste that here and that is going to be underscore let's say underscore exit exit sub error and now Send a message if there's any problem. And that's gonna be error. Pow. I know that should be dollar sign, that's a pound sign. And resume. And exit. That should be exit. right and that's all the restraint okay that's an error there so let's take care of that now let's come in here and just save and run so come in here right click and just select from view click there we go that's fine it's working as we expected that is very good there so guys with that I'm gonna call you the end of this tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoyed and you all have a nice day now. And bye for now.